You're watching News Made Easy and I'm Anindya Chakravarti. Friends, there's going to be another economic boom that's going to come very soon. You're going to hear about it, but it's only going to be for the top 1-2% to of Indians. The rest of India is going to continue to face the economic hardships that they've been facing for a very, very long time. Now, uh, who are these 1-2% to of people? Many of you who are watching this video are likely to be amongst them. Because if your household income, and household I mean that it includes probably two people, on an average 1.25 people per household when we talk about working, earning uh, members in every family. And if your household income is about uh, 10 lakh rupees or more, then you are considered to be an affluent person in India. 10 lakh rupees or more. That's what most economists take as the threshold. That's about 83,000 rupees. Most of these such people who earn that kind of money stay in big cities in India. And they stay in the better off localities in these cities itself. Not necessarily the poshest or the toniest places. Because after all, with uh, about 80,000, 80, 85,000 rupees a month, it's very unlikely that you're going to be living in the more richest part of your city. Uh, given the EMIs required for that or the rents required for that. But if you have two kids, you're probably sending them to uh, the good private schools of the city, paying six to 7,000 rupees per month on their education. You go for occasional uh, lunches and dinners to mid-rung uh, um, restaurants. And if you earn more than that, obviously to top-rung top restaurants, you uh, probably... Uh, have got that car and you're probably going to be replacing it every six seven years you have smartphones more than one in the family you have more uh, you have laptops and desktops in the family you subscribe to english newspapers you probably have netflix and prime video that you watch even hotstar and you generally also spend on household gadgets because these are the people those who earn more than 10 lakhs a year. These are the buying classes of India. These are the people who buy, do almost all of big ticket purchases in India. All right, uh, uh, let's uh, try and gauge how many people there are who earn more than 10 lakh rupees a year. A year, remind you, not month. Uh, if I go through, if I do a bit of number crunching on the income tax data for 2017-18, which is on money earned in 2017-18 and tax paid, which is also called the assessment year of 2018-19, then you will see that there were about 5 million odd families, households, and this requires a bit of number crunching and assumptions, but I'd say roughly about 5 million households who earned more than 10 lakh rupees a year. Okay, uh, These are tax paying households and because of uh, various kind of uh, stringent actions. One really can't expect that uh, uh, tax is not being paid by the visibly affluent. So this would more or less be the correct number. Uh, Mahesh Vyas of CMI wrote recently that uh, now in 2021, there are just about 3 million such households left who uh, earn more than 10 lakh rupees a month. And he says that uh, uh, before that, before the pandemic hit us, which is March 2021, 2020, there were about 4 million. So the COVID, during COVID, about 1 million or 10 lakh families, affluent families, slipped below the threshold. And between 2018 and 2020, before that, because of the slowdown, pre-COVID slowdown, another million had slipped through as well. So effectively, currently, there are about 3 million odd families who can buy, who can really buy goods, right? And they are the people who drive it. So that five to three million slide, that is what has shown up as despondency. That is what has shown up as the slowdown that you see. Cars not selling, gadgets not selling, uh, houses not selling, even hospitality businesses in trouble. So that is what had caused the affluent had slipped. A significant section of the affluent had slipped below that threshold and weren't pay, spending that much anymore. But how much does it really take for that recovery to take place? Very little, all right? Uh, all you need is about broadly 400 to 500,000 jobs. 400 to 500,000 job openings 
where people have a sense that okay we can go to another job and earn more right as soon as that happens right there will be a sense of recovery that takes place amongst this top 1% remember 3 million households is just 1% less than 1% of india's population 5 million households is less than 2% of india's population so that is all that the recovery is going to affect that top 2% and it doesn't make take much and already uh, there are surveys that tell us that nearly 3 lakh uh, new job open positions exist in white collar jobs right now in september they're better paying we're hearing of how uh, it salaries income uh, you know uh, tech salaries have shot up sharply and that is going to show up in increased consumption and you're going to say how much can that happen but it has happened all the booms that we've seen since liberalization has actually been driven just by the top two to three percent of people not more than that that is why in india we sell about two to 2.7 million cars a year at peak 2.7 2.8 million cars a year when it's at its peak it tells you that other than the replacement demand there is very little new demand for goods in india except for replacement and upgrade that is all that top one to two percent yes there is a demonstration effect there is a multiplier effect that probably uh, trickles down to another eight nine percent of people it's just that top ten percent who are consuming in this country 90 percent of people do not consume when that top two uh, percent uh, drops a little bit they lose out we see a sense of panic we see uh, feel bad effects set into the economy we talk about slowdown when that uh, top two percent again starts buying we will hear talk of boom it's going to come be ready but remember this is a fake boom like previous booms and it is going to go back to slow down sooner than later because it only can be sustained by those top one to two percent remaining people in india will continue to face the economic hardships that they faced for the last 30 years that's the show today keep watching news click and do subscribe to us as well